Hey, young people. Well, man, you don't hear me say this much. I think the cops did pretty good here. And um, so, unfortunately, the guy died, but I think the cops did pretty much how they should have handled it. Let's take a look. Ow. Drop the knife right now. Or just back up. Yeah. Boss, I need you to drop the knife right now. Okay, at this point, um, I think when we're handling knife calls, cops ought to maybe look at getting in your car and locking the doors. I mean, it's very hard for somebody to break a window, and you can drive away, and you can create distance really quick. And, um, I mean, you know, you can follow the guy, light him up. There's less chance of him rushing you. Uh, now, does that endanger the public if he walks up on somebody else? Maybe. As this goes on, there's a couple cases situations where the cops could have hit him with a police car and I mean although that's an option it's a risky option because a car hitting somebody is considered deadly force and if you're in a car hitting him deadly force needs to be authorized so unless you hit him when he's close enough to another person so you can reasonably say I was protecting another person, it's going to be hard to say I was scared of my own life in my car, and that's why I ran him over. So a lot of people may say they should have got a car blocked him. I, I kind of think they probably could have maybe bumped him or blocked his path with a car, but I'm not sure. that This guy was dead set on focused on a cop, and he was going to rush a cop with a knife. So, uh, you know, I don't like using the term suicide by cop because when a citizen shoots somebody, it's never suicide by citizen, even when they do stupid shit. But, you know, government automatically has a safe place to land when somebody causes them to shoot them. Civilians, somebody caused us to shoot them. We had other options. We should have done better. We, we shot too fast. We need more training. We shouldn't have guns. Government does it day and, day and night wrong. No problem. Okay, I need you to not kill me for Jesus, and I need you to drop that knife right now. Back the cars out. What I like about these cops is they're not holding their ground. Uh, a lot of people were talking about the guy, the one I just put out, where the uh, the guy come out of his yard with the knife. He went in the garage and he was he was just faking. He was going to attack the cops. The guy wasn't violent. He was pissed off and he was trying to agitate him. And they tased him and the taser would have worked, except the one cop heard the taser and decided to open his gun up on him. And I got all these idiots in the comments. Hey, you have a knife with the cops. It's good they shoot you. No, it's not good they shoot you. I that cop could have backed away. That cop created distance, just like this cop. The cop didn't have to stand there and get closer with a guy with a knife when he saw a knife so he can shoot him. He could have backed away, and he didn't. And that's what government should do, which is exactly what these cops are doing. Detail 09, he is still advancing on us toward with the knife. We are trying to back out of the area. Boss, we need you to drop that knife right now. So they got multiple cars there and multiple officers. You're going to hear in a minute a female officer is also backing up and there's another male officer. So there's like three officers backing up. Back, back, back. Drop the knife. And he's dangerous. Boss, drop the knife right now. Drop the knife. You notice he's walking past all these cars with police in it and he's only engaging in this guy because this guy's out in the open and giving him a target and talking to him. I'm not saying the cop's wrong. I'm just saying if all the cops stayed in their car with knife calls, this guy isn't bothering the other cars with cops in it. The knife. Drop the knife right now. Back. A lot of people be saying, why did he shoot him in the leg? Why did he shoot him in the pinky toe? Why did he shoot the knife out of his hand? If you miss, you got big issues. And at this distance, can you really be say I'm in fear of my life? Now, if there's a woman holding a baby right here and he's this close, then the cop can shoot at this distance fully justified. No problem. This woman and the baby is in danger. This guy's crazy. But Ricky didn't say anything and he's looking at the cop. I don't care. He, he's acting crazy. He's got a knife. He's, he's going to hurt people. I don't want him close to a woman with a baby, and if he's that close with a knife, then I'm going to shoot him. And it would be justified in my book. And, you know, oh, sh shit. Nowadays, hell, they could freaking fly a gunship over right now and drop a nuke on him, and they'd be like, well, officer safety. 
Glenn, block traffic. Yeah, we need to start block traffic. Walking towards Main Street here. Boss, drop the knife right now. All right, we're backing out on the main street. Go, Long way. Behind me, behind me, this way. The cop who's directing the other officers is staying calm. He's telling him to get behind him so he doesn't create a crossfire. He's not jacked up. He's not, drop the knife, motherfucker, on your move. Bang, bang, bang. Like most cops do. Yep. Guys, behind me so we can loop around the block. Cars, uh, to block off. Ignoring Boss, the cop Yeah, right there. Shut down the street, right there. Guys, behind me this way. I'm pretty sure ass teaches a class to cops to where you can pull your handcuffs out right here. And if you put a handcuff around the pepper spray and you swing it just right, it'll slide on the ground and it'll pepper spray him as it flies by. That's ass special pepper spray. Go buy it at his channel. Drop the knife right now. Boss, I need you to drop the knife right now. Come on, man. We ain't got to go down this road. Okay, guy's getting closer, and he's picking up his pace, and the officer's backing up forward. This cop backed away a long time. I, I got no problem with this shoot, and you can tell when the officer shoots him, he's kind of pissed that he made him shoot him. But he shoots him, and he dies, so he kills him. Boss, you need to stop. Don't, 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 don't. Back up, right now. God damn it. Detail 09, shots fired. Step up AMR. Okay. So, uh, I don't want to call this suicide by cop. I want to call this, this dude freaking rushed a cop with a knife and the cop used deadly force justifiably and shot him. Uh, just like a citizen would be. So, um, I think they show a different footage of this. The knife. Let him. Behind me. Yep, no, Drake. Watch out, because has got to block traffic. Yeah. Go, go. Guys, behind yep, yep. Some cars, uh, to block off. Boss, what's your name? What's your name? You have one primary officer contacting. This woman has no business talking to him or engaging in him. Someone else will say, well, maybe he'll talk to her or not to... Look, contact cover. She should be covering this officer in case he trips or falls. She needs to be paying attention to that and not run in her mouth. Um, if it was a male officer, I'd say the same thing. Contact officer, he's talking to him, he's focused on him, let him handle it, keep your mouth shut. Uh, sometimes quota hires have a hard job with that because they don't really get to do anything else and they're usually always late to the curve and, uh, you know, busy doing something else when things go down. So when they get someplace, they like to talk. Yeah, right What's your there. name? Shut down the street right there. Guys, behind me this way. Yep. Run the noise right now. Zero on, come on, let's use her. Boss. One, two, nine, let's get a beanbag gun as well. Forward. Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Don't, 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 don't. Back up. Drop the knife! Shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired. Now, I think this guy could have fired one or two rounds. It probably would have been better. But he got so caught up that he had to shoot. Remember, when once you start shooting, it's very hard to quit. So the last two rounds were pretty much on autopilot. And most people in dangerous situation, and the courts have ruled, that just shows the level of fear. Uh, there was a case where the cops shot a dude in the back of a patrol car. He was handcuffed. He pulled a gun out because they didn't search him right. And he pointed at the cops in handcuffs. And the cops shot him, I think, like 26 times. And they said the cops use excessive force. First of all, once deadly force is authorized, it's authorized. It doesn't say how authorized it is, whether you run a guy over, where you throw him off a building, whether you crash a plane into him. If deadly force is authorized and you use deadly force, it's justified. So the cops, a matter of fact, the courts even said that the cops, the number of rounds they fired did not demonstrate they wanted to kill him. It demonstrated their level of fear. I've never heard that explanation when a civilian 
shoot somebody, but the courts have said it when a cop shot somebody. All right, we'll end that there. I think it's okay, shoot.